that both the prelude and the fugue it starts out very strong and then it gets less strong. Okay. Why is that? There could be an easy reason. Probably when you started to learn the piece, you started from the beginning. And then the, the last part of the piece is what you learned most recently. So it's not as strong as the beginning. That's a very easy reason, okay? but we have to work on that. So that we don't start very well. It's like somebody says, hi, I'm very pleased to meet you. But actually, I don't really want to meet you. <laughs> but like this, it's, it doesn't feel good that way. We have to get stronger. Good. I find that in some ways, like your Chopin, we need to think about the bigger pulse a little bit more. Okay? So when you play the fugue, for instance, I feel like you're thinking in eighth notes, but I'd rather hear not that it be faster, but that it feels a little bit more smooth. Do you know what instrument this was written for? What kind of instrument would Bach have played this piece on? Uh, harpsichord. Could, <coughs> could be harpsichord, could also be organ, or clavichord. Do you know what a clavichord is? That's a very small instrument that um, could only play very, um, very uh, soft sounds. So Bach's son, who was named Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach. He was a clavichord virtuoso in Bach. But Bach was an organist and also harpsichordist. So it could be that this is harpsichord, but I could also hear it on the organ and have a very um, kind of bright sound, a very happy sound. Let's start once again from the beginning. And what do you think Right hand or left hand? Are you sure? Could be both. And you see that actually he doesn't let them play together. Then you have. Insect or an insect 
sometimes they have to outgrow their skin so they let their skin go. It's called shedding in a way. And that's what I think you need to do. You have to outgrow some of your technique because you tend to be foul. And that allows you to be free. Then actually your music making is quite good. There's, so that's a kind of musical thing that you need to outgrow. But there's a technical thing too. And that is that you tend to be tight in your arms here when you play. And it's easy to screw up the first second. When we're practicing slow, we're learning the piece. So, so many cultures are different in the world. Even in the United States, it's such a big country that people from different parts of the country behave differently. So for instance, in, in the north part of the country, in the northeast, if somebody's happy, they look like this. Okay. But if somebody's happy in the south, they look like that. It's just big. Okay. Or when you meet somebody in the north, you say, Hi, my name is Christopher Hardy, you're like, good to meet you. But if you say that in the south, Hi, my name is Christopher Hardy, you're like, Hi, how are you? Please come in. It's very warm and welcoming. So what kind of happiness is this? Is it great? What are we saying? 
far away happiness or is it close happiness? Far away happiness. Okay, then you can play slower if you want. I might fall asleep, no, but we'll try. I just don't want you to be thinking. Not in sixteen.
better than before. Okay, good. Then let's see what we can do to make it even more comfortable. Sit up straight. Good. And then also make sure that you don't move when you play. And you want
like a spider that you play. So I wanted you to see that so that when you practice, you can stop that when you're playing. Wonder. 
you can do that from the feet of them. So you just keep the balls up. Good. What does this do to the structure? So at the beginning, no. that's, you know, everybody's going to the beach. Everyone's happy to be going to the ceremony. But when you get to the wedding, you just sit there because you're supposed to be quiet. Right? So every...
out. It's kind of like, like if you have a big balloon of air and you let it out very slowly, like this, it takes a long time. Can you go from here? <laughs> exactly, I hope so. At dinner time or something like that. Maybe you say, I'd like to have the potatoes, please. And your sister says, No, the potatoes are for me. You know? And then you say, That's not fair. And your mom says, Please share the potatoes with your sister. And your dad says, When I was young, I didn't like potatoes or something like that. It should be it should be more conversational in a way. So if we start out I would like potatoes.
but it doesn't matter. Good. All right, then that's the lesson for your back. Will you play for me again? Or is this all? This is all? Okay. I've been very pleased to hear you, for sure. Do your parents have any questions? Or your sister? <laughs> Sometimes she has problems of her shoulder. Maybe Everybody she has, has problems. So how to <laughs> yes, fix but the problem? Actually, it's not just that her shoulders need to come down. You have to be careful not to put your head forward because that always rises. So if you sit up a little bit more, then your shoulders can be more free. Shoulders always come up. We just have to put them back down. So, and if you find yourself getting tight, probably it's because your shoulders are up. Good question. Yeah, because she always sit. Some yes. Speed. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Thank you.